Hey, hello, friend, and welcome back once again to Panzer Core 2. We're playing the air only mission. Hungarian forces left to defend Voronezh are under attack and request immediate aid. While your ground forces are already en route to their next deployment, your aircraft should be sent back to assist the Hungarians. Will you send your aircraft back to Voronezh to assist or continue with the next deployment as planned? Strategic warning, special close air support operation in Voronezh requires aircraft to the total exclusion of ground forces. Yes. Um, what I'm going to do after this mission is I'm probably going to be playing the Caucasus uh, next. And then after the Caucasus, I'll be going back to after this mission and play the Leningrad missions. Not only so you can see all of them, but... Um, yeah, I kind of want to show off, uh, I guess, uh, the uh, Caucasus battles. But in reality, I want to go for the Leningrad battles because in the Leningrad battles, you can get a exclusive hero that you would not get during the um, uh, Caucasus missions. So you'd be missing out on a hero. And I'd rather not do that. Anyway. I just finished coordinating with our Hungarian counterparts and it appears the situation is even more dire than we'd initially led to believe. <laughs> Several Hungarian formations have already been cut off and are in need of immediate support. Because the main body of our army is still busy refitting and redeploying, remember that we can only deploy our aircraft in support of this battle. Maintain control of Vornash. Assist the Hungarians in reclaiming all victory hexes. Bonus objective, destroy eight guards, bomber squadrons. Phase one of our mission is the immediate need to break the encirclement of these friendly units. They're out of supply and will be helpless in the face of oncoming enemy assaults. We'll need to clear out Soviet air support quickly before we can attack the enemy's encircling ground forces. Once we break the encirclement, any surviving Hungarians will be able to fall back and regroup at Voronezh. Phase 2 of our mission will be to support any surviving Hungarians as they counterattack to push the Soviets back from Voronezh. Be warned that Soviets have amassed some very powerful air aircraft squadrons to support these attacks and our Hungarian allies are counting on our help. To victory for Germany. Uh, we get a hit on an run guy. How far can the Hungarians go? Up to a village. Okay. The only thing that's actually shown is uh, Fragnaya Maza or something. Usman. Those places don't tell me anything. I do want to take a look though at the heroes once again. I will have to uh, completely reorganize my units, obviously. As I strip my forces of any units that might also be of help in the air war. So that, uh, that generally... Takes a while. Um, uh, he cost ten. One more. Can I take it off now? Yeah. Take that off. Take that off. 
It's probably not even needed that I take all of these off, but uh, let's just make this mission as easy as possible for ourselves. And let's also take a look at the rest of these units. So there probably aren't that many units left that have something useful, but no. All right, let's start with giving you the zero slots and over upgrading it because the focal wolf is the unit with the, the most slots. Now, uh, Rudol, I'm really not too sure in the Soviet capabilities of taking this airfield. I just want you guys to get the reduced slots. superior maneuver that's good I'll give them double attack too I also want these guys to get the uh, lightning attack hero. If I still have one anyway. This, uh, this is a special unit. Now, as for you, I can do hit and run. Well, actually, let's go go back to these because they have I don't need that if I can give these guys hit and run that already means that they don't need no retaliation because enemy units with lower initiative do not shoot back and these guys get higher initiative <clears throat> uh, let's assign you a no retaliation 
I want them to have superior maneuver and they have crippling blow. Over strength up to 14. And let's get them in there. Now these guys have very high movement. So that's quite good. Adolf Galland. Let's assign you with these and also get them to f uh, 14. I have one fighter here now. I do have you here. I feel the Soviets might actually take this though. Let's keep him close. What can I do for you? That's why I meant that this takes super long because a double move is fine on a bomber. have a bomber here yet. <laughs> so I can still get more fighters, which I think I should. Because I have one more slot. Oh, 
Let's do that. Let's uh, kill you. These uh, IL twos are pretty tough to beat here. gonna lie hmm. yeah I should probably just get rid of the enemy air force there first So in this case, already these are no longer encircled. As for Rudol, oh, you now have no fighter escort. Now these guys should no longer be encircled either. In the case of these SPAAGs, uh, I guess I'd rather use the strategic bombers. They seem to be getting a little bit less uh, terrorism uh, from these guys here. Not quite sure if these guys even are going to attack. They probably don't. And they, uh. They don't seem to be inclined to do that. No, they did there. And let's 
let's move you back. There's no way these guys can reach all that far. Let's move out and at least assist the Hungarians in maintaining control over this airfield. Um, you know, that sounds a bit unfortunate, but uh, Those recons are also pretty bad because they allow the AI to see everything. Okay, so that is another regular fighter down. Now at this point I'm looking for a good avenue of attack on the guards bomber squadron. Uh, I guess they're getting a... They're a bomber squadron, so they're getting protection from the yak. It's very sucky that they are now in the way. Because they, uh, they cannot move afterwards. Still. Really want to destroy those enemy planes and at the same time These guys need some serious assistance in those woods. I left the Rudel exposed. But for this turn I have no more uh, fighters. You should be doing okay at least over here. Okay. <laughs> 
Whatever, man. <clears throat> All right. on that. In that sense, the destruction of the bomber squadrons is also going to be very important. I see that the AI left one of those bomber squadrons exposed. Uh, however, I think dealing with Enemy fighters is as important because if I don't destroy the fighters, I uh, I can't bomb, and uh, that's why my bombers have to stay at home now. It's Okay. Yep, at this point, uh Ain't much I can do there. But since the AI doesn't actually care about uh, my planes, apparently, at least I have carte blanche when it comes to uh, going after the enemy planes here. Which also means that uh, their demise should come soon enough. I so many of the enemy units uh, gone let's start this process
the uh, T-34s and OT will also be a bit of a problem but at the very least by now <clears throat> the enemy air force has been beaten At least for the moment, they they might get new ways, but it doesn't really look like it at the moment. So the AI can kill a recon and that's about it. Oh, they got a bunch of new reinforcements. Okay. Their uh, yeah, attack might be too low. These guys also have double attack. On the recon it might not seem super impressive, but it should still be worth something. And uh, okay. I'm also just trying to somewhat skip through the enemy's turn and mine, but uh, or uh, and uh, our allies. This is super weird. My general, as a show of appreciation for our assistance, our Hungarian allies have a special offer for us. Last year we acquired a handful of their Toldi tanks, but their performance was slightly underwhelming. Since then we have told the Hungarians of the issues with the tank and apparently they took the reports to heart, because they have a vastly improved version now ready for deployment. You have three recommendation points, would you like to use four recommendation points to acquire a large collection of new Toldi 2 tanks? The um... Yeah, sure. The weird thing about it is that I think that despite the way it is, um, I think I might actually have five, but two of those don't get registered because I did change the amount of points that that I got in the last mission, but I don't think those necessarily show um, because uh, I must have probably ticked off something else as well in the Lua files because earlier that uh, objective um, it didn't give me any or it didn't trigger um, yeah so I do have the new toldies which are not super great okay hmm the Toldi 2A, huh? I 
Compared to these, they certainly do seem to be a lot better though. That's true. You would have to over upgrade them by a lot, but they'd still be more of an anti-infantry tank. It's eh. fine. Let's take a look. So they they already beat them there, but yeah, basically what I need to do is I need to bomb these with this. I hope to kill it, but you never know. Sweet. Okay, so I can actually move towards this middle airfield with a few units now. I think I should. Seems like they need a little bit of assistance there too. I uh, think though that... Uh, with the destruction of that their first... Wave. Yeah, th those aren't uh, actual airfields, so. Things have uh, sped up now considerably. Doing damage to all these conscripts also has another advantage, and that advantage is that uh, the enemy can overrun them and stuff. He. And they even had a Rudel there, it's unbelievable. Mm, they haven't captured that airfield, but I think I'll use this moment. To move several of my air units forward. Oh. What? No. Ugh.
What the heck happened? The thing is that by this stage, I barely even know what to bomb anymore. I mean, that's that's obviously a joke, but... They captured another forward airbase, so I can once again move my units forward. This is finally dimming down a bit. Jeez, the Hungarians got a lot of reinforcements. That uh, almost completely uh, negates the uh, the need for my forces. Oh well. If I, um... At least... Soften up... Some of these... That's still not too bad. I would have expected them to, to grab those. Yeah. Please kill them. No, but they're down to one. So ideally these guys will go after them in an attack. This is just a dirt air airfield. Let's kill them. Move a few of those to the center airfield and they cannot move over there. Those uh, enemy planes went down really fast, and the problem with a mission with a, a mission like this is because the developers have made it so that enemy air forces cannot transfer between airfields, 
um, for whatever reason, it means I have no threats. Because as long as there were no enemy air units here at the beginning, there will be no new airways. I mean, uh, that that's just the way the designers decided the game should go. So after I defeated the initial air wave, I already knew I was going to face zero air units at that point. Um, very likely, let's just go here. It's completely empty. Yep. Let's go this way, and the only one that can really attack this is Rudol. Which is still just fine, I just need to get my... Um, strategic bombers up there. Okay, wh why do I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, I don't even need to attack there. If... Uh I'm correct, these guys should go there by themselves. But, uh... Let's just use them. It's the only thing left on the map, so... The reports are in. The Soviets have given up on Voronezh and the Don River has been secured. The Hungarians have taken some losses, but they still have enough strength to protect our flanks as our main summer offensive continues. High Command still has both options for our next potential deployment available. Shall I make arrangements for a force to join the renewed assault on Leningrad? Or do you think we will be better suited to attack deep into the, the Caucasus? Historically, while the Soviet attempts to relieve Voronezh ultimately failed in retaining control of the city, they were successful in tying up many Axis forces that had been earmarked for other operations. These delays, coupled with other Soviet counterattacks, immediately placed Fall Blau ever so slightly behind schedule. Uh, yeah. Alright. Either way, thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you all in the... Yeah, next time. Take care, and bye-bye.